Thank you very much, um, Richard, and I am delighted to be here in these new headquarters. Um, I have been often to, uh, I guess, the mothership in New York City, uh, but it's good to have an outpost of the council right here down the street from the State Department. Uh, we get a lot of advice from the council, so this will mean I won't have as far to go to uh, be told uh, what we should be doing and uh, how uh, we should uh, think about the future. I know, it's so, I mean, that is the land of unconfirmed Yes, yeah, we came, we saw, <laughs> he died. <laughs> did it have anything to do with your visit? No, I'm, I'm sure it did. Good afternoon, everybody. Today, the government of Libya announced the death of Muammar Gaddafi. This marks the end of a long and painful chapter for the people of Libya, who now have the opportunity to determine their own destiny in a new and democratic Libya. For four decades, the Gaddafi regime ruled the Libyan people with an iron fist. Basic human rights were denied. Innocent civilians were detained, beaten, and killed. And Libya's wealth was squandered. The details coming through thick and fast, and again, uh, some of it has to be taken uh, with a pinch of salt until it's been thoroughly confirmed. We are seeing various uh, pictures of someone purported to be Gaddafi uh, on various channels on the internet, but again, it has to be confirmed who is in those pictures. Um, first of all, then, the NTC said Gaddafi's been taken alive. Now the latest reports is that he is dead. Do you think they actually intended to take him alive in the first place? Well, I am very skeptical of every so-called official report, Kevin, whether it's from the NTC, whether it's from Washington, any of the other NATO partner countries in this campaign, from NATO headquarters in Brussels, from the Western media. I have an independent report, and I honestly don't know one way or another, but I have an independent report on Mathaba, Mathaba, M-A-T-H-A-B-A, dot net, and they report that green committees, green is the, is the official color of the Libyan government's flag, a solid green flag. Green committees report the official reports coming over the Western media are false. Gaddafi is alive. Uh, whether he's been injured or not, I don't know, but they say he's alive. Earlier reports were that one of his sons, Safe, was captured. Then he turned out up very quickly, triumphantly in Tripoli. Another son, Thomas, I believe, I think at least twice he was reported killed, and then he reported that he showed up alive. Well, we've got another Gaddafi's report, Stephen. We've also been just actually saying ourselves, again, unconfirmed, but another report, something that's just happened in the last uh, half hour or so, that uh, another of Gaddafi's sons, we don't have a name, uh, at the moment anyway, reportedly killed in, in CERT as well. Again, uh, it, can it be believed? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I've written several articles in the last week or so, including really debunking the major media reports, Western media reports, absolutely falsified. CERT is not controlled by the NTC. Neither is Bonnie Wally. Bonnie Wally, and as a matter of fact, neither is most of Tripoli or Benghazi, as a matter of fact. Uh, what, what I call loyalist fighters, uh, the Libya Jamaria, a loyalist fighters, you can give them any name you want, but the Libyans who want to live free, free from NATO, free from these, these uh, mercenary fighters that NATO recruited, free from NATO colonization and occupation, they are resisting. They have bested the best of NATO's ferocity for seven months. Imagine ordinary people tying down the world's most powerful military force for seven months and they still control most parts of Libya. It's astonishing and the Western media is lying. They are lying and the official reports are lying and the battles go back and forth. Some of the territory changes hands. Maybe the rebels get it and then the loyalists get it back. But the latest reports I had yesterday were Tripoli, Bani Wali, Sirte, Benghazi, Misrata, and other cities across Libya, most of their territory were in loyalist hands. 
not NATO's control. Stephen, I, I mean, I'm taking everything you say there completely, um, but just looking at what we're seeing on face value, just at first value, I do have a name actually I can put to uh, one of uh, Gaddafi's sons that we were talking about just then that's been reportedly killed this afternoon. It's uh, Mutasim Gaddafi, we're hearing again, not confirmed though. Um, just one of the clock by US Secretary of State Hillary Clinton only a couple of days ago said that Gaddafi should be captured or crucially stroke killed. You know, was that a license to kill for the new government looking at this at face value if he has been killed today? Well, I would say on, that, on the basis of that statement alone, Hillary Clinton should be indicted as a war criminal. I uh, mean, she wanted to put out a contract to kill somebody. That's complicity in, in, in murder, if it happened. Of course, uh, Hillary Clinton and Obama and the team around them have committed so many war crimes that uh, it might take the rest of their lives just to put them through court proceedings to, to settle all these things away. I, in, in an article I put out this morning, I quoted the very statement Hillary Clinton made. Uh, she was, she was uh, smuggled into Tripoli for a photo op, a brief photo op. She couldn't land at the airport, by the way, Kevin, because there's this fighting going on all around the airport. There's no way a plane could land safely. Oh, it's possible a helicopter dropped her in, in, into Tripoli for a brief photo op, uh, and then they had to somehow manage to get her on alive. Uh, wouldn't it have been lovely if, uh, if they tried to get her in on a helicopter and they shot the helicopter down? Because, because the loyalists have weapons that are able to do things like this, but you'll never hear reports about this on the major media. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Global Government News. Today is Friday, October 21st, 2011, and I'm Darko. This is my website, ggnonline.com. That's ggnonline.com. Also, ddarko2012 is my YouTube channel. Um, GGN also has a Global Government News uh, Facebook group, so you can go in there and check that out. Um, all these articles, headlines, and links will be in YouTube's video description, so go in there and check that out. And you'll have all the links for Twitter and uh, Facebook and that. Um, you can check out this poll up here. It's um, it's about uh, basically programming icons in Hollywood and in the media. Um, it's all around, and especially in Disney. A um, good example is um, a lot of these kids shows. I've noticed they have like a little lightning bolt, and that's for the um, what goes all the way back uh, to Hitler Youth, uh, where they had one little bolt, and that of course is. Um, is actually it's uh, it's actually stimulating what they call the kundalini, and uh, ac basically activating the pineal gland prematurely, and that's what it's doing. Uh, but anyways, that's a good example. But just do you believe entertainers such as Beyonce and Lady Gaga are aware of the subtle pharaonic Illuminati symbology in their performances slash rituals? So far, 82% say yes. You can put in your email address here and follow me. Okay, I'm done with that. I have to do that, guys. Sorry. But uh, if you don't, you, know, you could always skip through. Hillary Clinton wants Gaddafi killed. So this was what? Uh, 1019, she wants him killed. And then, yeah, I covered this before where she, they couldn't even the media wasn't even um, broadcasting when she was there and the NTC terrorist leader um, I can't remember I can't remember what his name is right now but uh, he looks kind of lizardy like um, but either way they couldn't even broadcast that locally because they didn't have control over the media the local media airways yet so it just goes to show you this is a complete photo op this is a complete charade just like bin Laden dumping his body at sea so let's see the charades uh, that they're going to do with uh, Gaddafi's body. Right now, according to mainstream media, it's in a meat locker or in some kind of cold packing truck right now. And uh, he was shot in the head. And um, now they're coming out with all these uh, closure stories as if he's dead. So they already pretty much like set up a government when, when, when Libya wasn't even really um, conquered yet. So they already set up this new government calling the shots and their actual leader is still in power and then they go and they try to assassinate him at close range and uh, try to compare him to what oh the, um, Saddam Hussein um, it's just kind of uh, coincidental that they were both what held up in holes like rats when really the rats are the ones that went after him those are the little rats the treasonous traitor rats that's the good name because that's what they are they lurk through the streets and then they disappear they fight and they scatter Right? They scatter. They got all these weapons backed by Israel, U.S., and all that, NATO. And yet, uh, you know, there's just an unorganized mob. And then when they get uh, into a fierce resistance from the loyalists, which there is all throughout Libya, they run. They tuck tail and they run. So, yes, that's a good description for them. 
And so going with Saddam Hussein and tying that to um, Gaddafi, it's kind of ironic because what? They went in there in what? March. I think it was what? Uh, March 30th or something like that. Whatever the date was, it was the same exact date as when uh, the U.S. went in there, invaded Iraq, and assassinated a leader of a sovereign country. And they did it the same with Gaddafi. So it would make sense that they would have the same little uh, stories right now. So in the media, Gaddafi's dead, but we don't really know. It says Hillary Clinton visits Libya to meet rebel leaders. So we already covered that. NATO strike led to Gaddafi capture. And I just want to include uh, the um, our dictator, or, uh, Mr. Barry Satoro, or whatever name he goes by these days, uh, when he said that... Um, that what? Oh, they did it on their own. Well, if a NATO strike helped uh, Gaddafi capture, well, then they didn't really do it on their own, and it's not democracy. It's just another form of a dictatorship. So Gaddafi is killed with bullet wound in the head, and that's, of course, what they said at close range. So it's very, very, uh, um, uh, a lot of, uh, what do you call it, courage, right, to shoot somebody in the head at close range. Rumors of Muammar Gaddafi spread by NTC for Hillary Clinton. Rosanna says the Green Committees have confirmed that the leader is alive and that the enemy is seeking to take advantage of his being currently out of communications. The aim is to please Hillary Clinton, who barked at her Arab slaves that she wants Muammar Gaddafi dead or alive. Going back to that original video, just like she said, um, she was about to say it that we uh, we take the CFR Council on Foreign Relations advice, and uh, she was about to say we do what they tell us to do, but she didn't. She stopped right there. So basically, yeah, that's who it was that uh, wanted him dead or alive. It wasn't Hillary Clinton? She's a she's not a puppet. She knows what she's doing, just like Obama. They're not puppets. They're not stupid. Uh, they're doing this. They're they're willing this into existence. So they're not you know. Uh, totally exempt here. But uh, this is what democracy is to them. Democracy is going and having Pepsi and Microsoft and uh, diplomats and politicians meeting in, in, in private and secret called the Bilderberg Group and making decisions without you even knowing what they're talking about. And so that's what their version of democracy really is. And those other sources are what? Rand Corporation, the CFR, the Tri Trilateral Commission, the Club of Rome. Those, that's the real... Um, um, those are the real decision makers, so that's what they refer to as a democracy. I just want to stress that. NATO murders Libya for a lie. And you know what? I just want to put it out there for Mr. Obama, who just flat out lied when he said that Libyans were not provided the basic necessities. I've already went over this. Yes, they were provided education. Yes, they were provided health. And if they couldn't get it, they can go outside the country and get it. They were provided many things. They were provided apartments, and not Section 8 ones, real nice apartments. And if they were detained or whatever he was accusing him of doing, or their uh, the Jim or Haya, um, sorry if I didn't pronounce that right, they were probably weren't that innocent, right? If they were rats trying to do what they were doing, they were probably going to be detained. So we don't know this, but right now Infowars and them are just uh, they're just assuming that he's dead. They're not even saying that he may not be dead. So that's why I'm a little skeptical sometimes of Infowars and that. Welcome to democracy, Gaddafi summarily uh, executed without trial. That's right. It just killed him, right? It says death of Libya's Gaddafi avoids awkward trial. Yeah, it would be very awkward because they killed what? They killed a, so a leader of a sovereign country. have to just keep going over this to just show you how ridiculous it really is. Yeah, it would be awkward. Uh, he may actually start to talk like he did in the UN, um, right, when he started calling all the countries. You know, the ones that made deals with him back in the day and acted like, oh, you know, he's not that bad. Now he's evil, right? Gaddafi demise will ex expedite Libyan crude output, state oil company says. So this was the whole freaking point, right? So... Talking about the UK firms jostle for Libya's deals. Dozens of British companies are in Libya hoping to clinch lucrative contracts with Colonel Gaddafi's newly rehabilitated regime. And here's a story from that uh, Mathaba website that an individual was uh, uh, sourcing or referencing. Is Gaddafi dead? You can go in there and check that out. And uh, pretty good articles here. And it goes in and talks about their third, his uh, third universal theory, and that it doesn't really matter whether he dies because it's uh, it's it is a revolution. I mean, you don't have to be Middle Eastern. To, uh, to be a part of this. I'm not part of it. I'm not condoning it. I'm just saying that this is the uh, reality of it. They don't want you to see this. And then uh, here's his other uh, son, Gaddafi's son, Mr. Uh, Mutasim. And uh, basically he was fine smoking a cigarette and then, uh, oh, bam, he's dead. So they probably shot him in the head. Too. Then we have rumors of Gaddafi martyrdom overlaps cert genocide. It's talking about the local tribes and cert that they're killing.
Libyan Defense Force has announced the next phase of resistance, which is guerrilla war warfare, then three NATO mercenaries killed by IED in Western CERT as guerrilla warfare begins. And if the Syrians tell Assad to go, then that means what? U.S. is telling them. Thank